So imagine that you live in a foreign country of your choice. Imagine that you live in a tropical setting near an ocean in a foreign country of your choice. Combine that with being an A-list voiceover artist and you have who our guest will be today. We welcome to the stage Edwin Oldfield and Edwin lives in Lima, Peru. And Edwin, how are you today? I'm doing great, Keith. I'm glad to What's be here. What's the weather it's like? The weather, it's summer, so it's called coming into summer. And uh, it's getting real nice. We had a little bit of a rough winter. It's a little bit humid here sometimes. But it's, uh, it's well, like real nice early summer-like. How did you make this happen? Uh, that's a long story. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I got, in voice, got involved in voiceover in the 1980s in Los Angeles. And so it was always in the back of my head to do it. And um, I, had, I had something happen with my daughter where, um, uh, where she came back to me and uh, this was just the time and place to do it. And uh, that's why I made it happen. And it was just the most wonderful experience I've ever had. Uh, just such a challenge and such a joy at the same time. I would think that it would be heaven to live in South America in that situation that you're living in. It, it has worked out for you because you're the voice of Tesla. How did that come to be? Uh, Tesla, I did an audition for Tesla and the, the uh, company was out of Canada and they uh, selected me out of a number of people. I guess I sounded more like Elon Musk than anybody else probably. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, I think they were very happy with the, with, with the video and they asked me to do 50 or 60 videos or to quote on that, but it never came about. I think um, Elon Musk tends to be um, you know, more uh, AI perhaps, because I don't think mm -hmm. they use too many voiceovers. I think this might be the only one. Well, let's take a listen to it. Uh, this is Edwin Oldfield, and this is Tesla. Regain control of your commute with Autopilot. Tesla's traffic-aware cruise control and auto steer let the Model S dynamically adapt to its surroundings. Cruise with ambient traffic, letting the Model S adjust its speed to other vehicles. Follow the curves of the road, secure, in the fully integrated radar, sonar, and GPS technologies. Let auto lane change help you maneuver on the road with confidence. Drive and let the Model S take care of the details. Beautiful job. Sounds really wonderful. Uh, have you always had that soft style that just is so popular as that you do? Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I always had it, but I certainly developed it. And I do have a soft voice. You know, when I listen to other people doing voiceover, they're, they tend to be a little sharper. A coach once said to me about that particular piece, you know, it's effortless. And I think that is the essence of voiceover is to be effortless. Or to, uh, the, actually, in any, mastering any craft, when you reach that effortless point, that's when things really start to happen. And so that has a lot to do with the style that, that I hear that translates over to EarthX, the four-part miniseries that is running now. You know, that looks like National Geographic. That photography is so beautiful. It looks like it's shot in 4K all over the world, and you're the voice of it. Tell me how that came to be. Yeah, I was contacted uh, a few months ago um, to, do, uh, to, to do an audition off my website. And then they had some tests, and they, they, and they finally went with me. And we did a four-part miniseries, and it's being shown in the U.S., in Europe, um, probably in, uh, in the U.K., on Sky. So it's mm -hmm. a really 
is a project I'm really proud of uh, being a part of. Uh, it's such a current issue, you know, wildfires. And uh, it turns out the mistakes that have uh, occurred were like 100 years ago. So it's some really important stuff for, for our planet, for ourselves, and to understand these things. Well, let's let the audience hear you because I think it looks beautiful. I think you sound fantastic in it. And so without further ado, let's share it with the audience right now. This is Edwin Ofield and Earth X running globally. Well, I love the Salmon River and the Klamath River, but probably my favorite place is the South Fork of the Trinity. It's just almost magical big ferns, giant old growth trees, a shaded river where we swam as children and then took our own children there, and then they took their children there, and it's gone. It's like the death of a family member. of the American West are some of the last functioning old growth forests in our country. They are our heritage, our future, and are vital to our survival, but they are deeply in trouble. You were talking earlier about your background in voice training. You've been in it for a long, long time. Where would you place in the hierarchy of your importance voice training, even at this age, at this stage of your life? As high as it can be. It really is. Is that right? It's amazing. It, it, the thing is, if you don't have a voice coach, you don't have a roadmap. So you, so oftentimes, and I remember when I was uh, developing my skills, you know, oftentimes you think you'd find something, and then you, you know, you didn't, but you didn't have the direction. And to this day, right now, I have more direction and more knowledge of of what I'm doing with voiceover than ever before. Um, I've worked with um, three coaches, and uh, the coach at the moment I'm working with is Maurice Tobias, and she is just amazing. And just it just gives me such direction. And I will continue to learn, you know, until my dying days, because, and that's what's so marvelous about this, this business. You can always get you back. You know, that's, that's really, interesting that you put that you and I are generally of the same generation and to still be focused on learning at our stage and to be actively using a voice coach it says a whole lot about you I think um, that you sound very unusual very smooth very buttery what kind of opportunities does she bring to the table what can she teach you see I think that the voiceover is about being, uh, letting things go, you know, about being free. And I think most times what people do is they try and control the words they're saying, and it ultimately it comes out to being letting go. And uh, there's things that she has taught me in terms of, you know, what is in, what's important for the client, what's important for the message. It's all about what the message is. And the more you focus on that, and the more you develop that skill, the better things get. Well, on that note, let's take a break from our sponsor, The Voice Shop, uh, voiceshopcoaching.com, and we'll join Edwin Oldfield from Lima, Peru, right after you and I watch this. The Voice Shop is a proud sponsor of the Voice Choice Vodcast, where you get to see and hear the inspirational talent behind the microphone. Shift your voice into high gear with professional training and coaching at The Voice Shop. You can save $20 off any purchase with promo code CHOICE at checkout. Visit us at voiceshopcoaching.com. Okay, so talk to me about Sector 500. That particular client is a stock. Is that correct? It's a stock index. It's called an ETF. Uh, so it's a range of funds, sorry, it's a range of stocks that they put into a fund. Mm -hmm. And that was a really interesting project 
uh, I did uh, because the uh, it was produced in Amsterdam and it was uh, run from New York and then I was doing the voices for these uh, commercials in Lima and uh, it worked out really well I had I, I, I love my clients uh, responses you know to to, to the work because they were just thrilled. They were happy to have me as their voice. And, uh, you know, since since that commercial was done, the, the markets have been diving. But I, I assume when things go back to normal, they'll, they'll be calling me again. All right, so let's listen to Edwin Oldfield and Sector 500. You could buy a single stock and go all in on one company or own the sector and invest in keeping good company. Is it so radical to be so rational? Before investing, consider the fund's investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses. Go to sectorspiders.com for a prospectus containing this information. Read it carefully. Sector Spiders, the 11 sectors of the S&P 500. What microphone do you use? Uh, Sennheiser 416. Very popular microphone. How, what made you choose that? Does it contribute to your sound? Absolutely. I was in New York, and uh, when I first bought a really good microphone, um, I went to uh, New York, and I went to various places like B&H, and uh, it skips my mm-hmm. mind uh, where, where, where it was. But um, you, could then, you could check out the mics, and you could test them out and uh, I found a, a TLM 49 uh, uh, Neumann that was the best I could see you know from there or at least my best on my budget but when I got that uh, 416 I just haven't used anything ever since it just it has a has such a cutting edge to it so it allows your voice to come through music and and you know in video and and it's, I just I guess I just fell in love with it you know, uh, I also use a, a really good preamp, a John Hardy preamp. Um, John, I'm Hardy. familiar with that piece of equipment. That's nice. Yeah. So you put those two together, and it becomes something pretty special. I've, I get a lot of comments on, you know, how how strong the uh, the recordings are because of that. But this is really and truly all going on in your home there in Lima, and you're doing business pretty much with planet Earth, right? I, I am. That is right. It How does it. that make you feel? I I really like what I do, and uh, you know, being able to do this in a, in a in an exotic type place like this is is great. You know, we're thirty so thirty seconds walk from the Pacific, or overlook uh, where you can overlook the Pacific. Um, mm-hmm. But again, it could be it could be a lot of places. You know, it could be many places. I still have to to go to other places perhaps in the future. We'll see. Uh, Let's take a break. We're going to play our commercial with our sponsor, Shore Technologies. We'll come back and we'll finish up with Edwin Oldfield right after this, guys. This segment of The Voice Choice is sponsored by Shure. And this is the voice of God. Actually, I'm not God at all. I'm Eric Holloway, a voice actor. And when I want to sound my very best, I depend on Shure Microphone. It delivers the sound I want. So, how am I doing? So, Edwin, you get to this stage in your career. It goes great. It continues to go great. What left is there to prove? Do you feel that you've hit your zenith? Uh, certainly not. Certainly not. I think that there is so much more to prove. I, it, it's like I guess it's like baseball. It's really a hard game to play, and so you have a batting average, and you you know you want to always increase that batting average, and uh, and you know try and get to a point where where I don't know it's you, you don't want to control it but you want to control it too so it's in the middle but uh, it's it's a very rewarding career but you have to work very hard at it but that gives you great rewards so it's worth it you sure set a good example and Edwin I uh, 
appreciate you joining us here today on The Voice Choice and telling us your story from Lima, Peru. Uh, and that's an exotic life that you live. I'm a very beachy person, so uh, I envy your situation. As you well know, I love the palm tree and everything that is associated with it. And I thank you for coming on the show today and sharing your story with us. And we will be listening. Thank you, Edwin. Thank you very much, Keith. It's been a great pleasure.